Hi, in this video, we will see scanner class in Java to read data from the text file. We already discussed scanner class in our previous video. There we have seen only how to read the data or get the data from the keyboard. Okay, so here scanner class is a class to read data, means read the data, input data from the keyboard at runtime. So it is input data. This class is available in java.util package. Using scanner class, we can read the data from the text files also. So we will see this point. So the first point we already saw in our previous video. Okay. So these are all, all the methods available in scanner class. So do not bother about all those things we already discussed. So now we'll jump into the scanner file demo <coughs> program. So here, very simple. So I, I have created a file called, I have created a folder called files. And there, I have written some sentences here. Okay, hi, learning read file using scanner class. And the second line, this is one of the important topics in Java. So we need to learn this concept carefully. We I have three lines here. Okay, I need to read this data from this file. So for that. So I have created scanner file demo. Here, what I'll do, we need to use scanner class. Scanner class SC is equal to new scanner. So here, previously what we have given in our previous video, system dot in. So this is to read the data from the keyboard, okay? Let me comment out it. So, but if I want to read the data from the file, okay, then as I'm saying file, right, I need to give the file here. Okay. For that, we need to create a one more class, file class. File file is equals to new file. This file will take file path where my file is. Once you get this file, you need to pass this file to your scanner class. Okay. You have two parameterized methods here. One will accept system.in, one will accept file. So where is my file path? What is my file path? So my file path is data.txt. You just right click on this and you say copy path. Okay. And come here. You need to mention that in the string. Okay. In the double quotes. Right. In Java, you need to use two backward slashes to represent this path. Okay. So you need to give two backward slashes. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Okay. This is how. Here, my file is the data.txt. So now I passed this file to here. Instead of system.in, we are passing the file. Now, I need to print, okay, data. So system dot out dot print. Then how you'll read the data if it is a sentence? Sc dot next line method that we already discussed in our previous video. The same method, it will read the entire sentence, one line, okay? So if you try to execute this, if you try to execute this, Java scanner file demo dot Java. I'm getting so many errors, scanner class file, all these things. So we already discussed scanner class is available in where? Import Java dot util package, right? So we need to import that package. Now, if you try to execute, you'll not get any error related to scanner, but you'll get the error related to file. So this file class is available in other package called import java dot io dot star. This is available in io package. Okay. So now if you try to execute, you will get another error. You see that unreported exception file not found exception must be caught or declare the declared to be thrown. Okay. So fine. You are mentioning there is a file. You want to read that file. If the file is not there, 
Okay, if the file is not there, what we need to do, right? There might be a chance. So because of that, Java will say you need to handle all those things. Uh, that we can see with the help of like uh, exception handling concept in our upcoming videos. But at present, in the method level, you need to use throws exception. Okay, throws exception. You need to mention like this after your method before this curly braces. Okay, then it will handle the exception which may raise. Okay, so now if you try to execute, you see that high learning read file using scanner glass, but it is reading only first line. Right, this is only reading first file. Sorry. So. I want to read entire file, right? So for that, what we need to do, we can use while loop, okay? While scanner class object dot, you have one more method has next, okay? If you have you have one more method called has next. If next line, if you have next line, loop that and get that information. Okay. If you have next line has next means if you have next line in the file, print that also until when, until you reach the end of the line. After this line, there is no has next. There is no has next will return false. If it is false, it will come out of that while loop. If it is true, it will go inside that and it will print that. So let me execute this. You see that. It is reading all three lines. Okay. So what is file we will discuss and what is this exception throws exception we will discuss in detail in our upcoming videos. But at present just to understand you need to mention throws exception to handle that file not found exception. And this file is from java.io package scanner is from java.util package. If you have had if you have multiple lines in the file you just need to mention st dot has next. So until there is a next line, it will keep printing. If there is no line, it will return false. It will come out of the loop. Okay. So this is the file path you need to mention. And for each folder and uh, between each folder, you need to mention two backward slashes. Okay. So this is how you can read the text file in Java using scanner class. Okay. So what could be the possible interview questions from here? The same questions. What is scanner class? How can you means what are the different methods available in scanner class? What can be read? We can read data from the keyboard and from the file. How to read a text file using scanner class? For that, you need to use file object. Okay, that we are just saw. Okay, so this is all about uh, scanner class. So that's all in this video. Thank you.